We took a little bit of a hiatus because my girlfriend was moving in, and now we are back. Yeah, we're back. I like that shirt on you. It's a good color. It's a Yeezus shirt. I was just going to say, is this a Yeezus? Yeah, I've had it for a long time. I just don't. It was just sitting in one of my drawers. Is it real Yeezy? I don't think so. Oh, just like a Chinese they put Yeezus on? I'm assuming. How much you pay for it? I don't remember. I've had it for years. No. Oh. It's just been sitting in my drawer. I'm assuming Didn't it was just make, like, like a, everything 20 bucks. Well, when I talked to him, he said he was going to lower prices. Well, no, like there was it because of Riley that was just here was like, yeah, like I ordered a ton of shit when he said 20 bucks. He made everything on a store 20 bucks. But I'm like, is it still designer then if it's 20 bucks? I mean, yeah, technically it is, right? Yeah. That means it was just a discount. Right? There has to be some other motives. He's like, shit, I got to pay off this. Or person. he had just a bunch of inventory sitting around. He's like, I need to get rid of yeah. this. Yeah. Thing is, is like no matter what, like the little boot AirPods thing, the boot pods are cool, but like I'm not gonna wear those. No, 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 no. No, I mean it's a good idea. It's like, oh hey, shoes in a pod, cool. But I can't like wear that to work. I'm like, dude, dude those fucking what are those? What the big red boots? What the fuck? The Lego big. Why leg, does everyone the, have those? I don't think everyone has those. No, I'm, I'm saying, saying like every famous person for a minute. Like, for a minute, there, there everyone we're just having them just to like say they have. How them. do we make something like that? It's just like, hey, here's a big shirt. I don't even think it's just like a luck of the draw. It's like a novelty thing. That one, I, I, you know what I think it is? It's people that are already like kind of famous or influencers, like make this shit. So like, here's and then other and then, and then other people boots. who are popular wear them, or the company pays an insane amount of money to this person to wear them, and then all of a sudden people want them just because that person wore them. I don't know. I, mean, yeah. I think that's what it is. Did you ever? Did you ever have girls in your class that wore muck boots to school? What is a muck boot? It's like a full rubber boot that. A lot of girls did wear boots. No, no, I'm not talking about boots. I'm saying like boots you would take out into the grass if you were going to go feed the cows. It's a full rubber boot so it can go in puddles like and everything. Like Doc Martens and shit? No, no, no. Like a full rubber boot. Oh, like rain boots? Yeah, yeah, like that. I mean, when it was raining, I saw some rain boots. I don't think I... Yeah, but they were just walking. I mean, our school was all concrete. I mean, they just walked their car and back. It was like the the rain boot was a stat. Their was brains obviously statement. don't work like ours because we would just wear vans and fucking. Yeah, I'll get them dirty. It gets class to them. I don't want no rain. I think boots. there's only there's only a very select couple shoes. I would say a few that they look still good dirty, and that's like Converse vans. White vans. And like the the funny thing about vans is like white is a color that. In almost all cases, like if it gets dirty and shit doesn't look it. Vans, it's just it's it just, just character. It's just, it just character. Kills. All it, the time. It looks good always, even if it's I dirty it. as fuck. It's such a staple shoe. It is a staple shoe. And I will wear them. I mean, I've worn them for like fucking 20 years. Vans like, are I, the I shit. Continue. Remember when okay, I remember like Vans at its peak. I because I had like six pairs, dude. I would just rotate. And then like I had like a red pair. And then like over time, it got like kind of like by I was left outside, blah, blah, blah. And they turned almost like like a almost a pink, but it wasn't a pink. It was it went from like a crimson but, yeah, to a brick. But I still fucking wore it, and it still just it still, still killed. killed. It goes it's with still outfits. Killed. It changes as the time changes. I, I only have white vans now, now. Like if we're talking about the most versatile shoe, like style wise, 
occasion wise. We have to. I think I have to go Vans or Converse. I think. It, yeah. But uh, here's, yeah. The, here's the thing, though. I think Vans even look good if you're wearing slacks or something. That's what I'm saying. So yes, I think they va- do. I, I think Vans are the most versatile shoe. I was saying, like, if you're going to an event that's like. White Vans look- and you wear slacks, d- no one bats an eye. Looks, no. It looks perfect. They fucking love it. Yeah. Like, if you're going to an event they that's like. They fucking love it. It's not like, you know, black tie formal, but it's whatever. But like. What what the white vans did for the community was it allowed you to still dress to the nines at a not formal event, get away with it, not be overdressed. And still go to a formal event with them too. Exactly. But like it could be like a semi-formal event and you could wear the jacket, the collared shirt and everything, but you got the white vans on and it's like, okay, he's not overdressed, but it's perfect. Yeah, Every it always time. works. It always works. God, I loved it. Uh, I was uh, never the big checker guy. I never have owned a pair. Never owned a checker pair. My uncle loves it. I was always the solid, solid color. Solid I had white. Re- I had, I had red, white, like the black, white shoelaces. I had white snorkel bottoms. blue once. A snorkel blue. A snorkel blue. That's what it was called. Yeah. My, my like own, a baby blue. It, that's what the box said. It was called snorkel blue. But was it like a dark blue? No, it was brighter. It's like a cobalt, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> No, my, my my uncle would always take me on my birthday. It was called Shoes Right Here. It was in downtown Medford. Oh, dude, yes. That's yeah. where I would get, um, oh, my God. What were those called? Oh, I don't remember. Were they uh, Etnies or something? Et- Etnies. Etnies. No, that's like World Industry Shoes. No, I forgot. I forgot. It was some skate show I got. I got bands, and it was... I forgot what else I got, but it was always Vans there. And they were yeah. like 30 bucks. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, he'd always take me there. And this time, like, I always got white That's probably black. why they went out of business. Yeah, and then he'd be like, hey, let's get a different color. And he got me snorkel. And I'd go there, there and get like five pairs of shoes, dude. Oh, it's crazy. You walked mean, out of there. I mean, were, I didn't have rich parents like you, so, you know, I could have one pair of they shoes. They were cheap. I'm kidding. But I mean, they had like more expensive ones, but I'm saying like it was cheaper than going to the Dude, mall. Vans are like $70 now. Yeah. Air what Force, the fuck Air Force ones are like 150. Yeah. You got these for my birthday. Yeah. Thank you. They're like 150 bucks. Brazy. At one point they were like 75 or 80 bucks. Vans point. were like forty dollars, dude, and now yeah, it's like nine ninety nine, dude. Amazon, they're like eighty dollars. Yeah, I'm like, it's insane. Now I don't want them to get him dirty. I'm like, fuck. I just, said, I loved, I love not caring. You know, I hate when people baby their cars and shit, and it's like, you know what, I. Dupe actually had a good point on this. He's just like, I'm not going to be that guy that like babies my truck and I can't get a scratch on it because when you release that, you just let things be. And it's like, oh, the strap on the back when I was tying down a washing machine, scratch it. Who the fuck cares? It's yeah, like truck. I've had that crack on my windshield now since winter time, or since winter started. And I'm just, I, I could go get it. I just. Yeah, the front right, the, the front of your car is well, banged up too. Well, the plastic part because I ran over the pooch. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. But. Oh, thanks for reminding me. He didn't run it over. That dog ran in front of us. <laughs> no, it did. We were going 50, and it yeah, decides it, to go it across did, right it did, then. It did. The lady, he's like, oh, yeah, he's fine. He ran off. I'm like, I heard him. He's not fine. Yeah, he's not fine. He's not I fine. can see it right there doing the whole, like. Well, now I'm not going to let that be, so. <laughs> Jack, <laughs> learn to let it be. Oh, yeah, the front of your car is jacked up, by the way. <laughs> you know when they breathe in their stomach kind of goes, you know, you could just see it over there. Just like. <laughs> You know, when they're, when they're what like, the breathe, fuck? You know, like when they're, they're taking their last head. breaths? Yeah, that's what it was doing. We hit it. <laughs> I didn't see that. Good thing I didn't see that. Yeah, because you're talking to the lady and she's like, yeah, it ran off. It's fine. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> like, I'm not, it's, it ran out on the highway. It's not our, it's not our fault. Well, I, felt, I, felt bad. I felt bad now. I was in the passenger seat. I felt bad, but it wasn't your fault at all. I, you know, and now my car's jacked up. <laughs> it's a 60 mile per hour highway and it decided yeah. to go across right then. Like, that's crazy. Why did he make me do it? I know. <laughs> Welcome back to Sideways Round Lunch episode. What? Episode 153. Uh, episode 153. First and foremost, Montego sponsor starting with Aperture Oceans, bringing ideas and ads to life. And also want to shout out the Stallion and Wilderness Finish Face Side for ATLT's own Brandon Body Auto streams whenever from whatever. Uh, Brandon spelled the usual way, Body Auto, B A T T I A T O. And shout out also Synergy Canine, the <laughs> trainer for his dog, uh, the puppy ply metrics. You can look them up on Instagram. Synergy Canine on Instagram. Uh, James, take it away. Uh, got moles, if you have moles in the Puget Sound area, servicing northern Seattle to southern Tacoma. They're your premier mole exterminator. Mm. Also, uh, their sister company, who, uh, <sighs> who recently got out of bankruptcy somehow, uh, Atlas Aeration, which apparently, I know I keep saying this, he's going to do our lawn now. 
How about just stop saying it so then when it happens, it's like cool. Well, he finally said he was going to. See, I would rather not know that. And just come out to a fresh... Yeah. But they do aeration, thatching, all that shit, and it makes your lawn just feel like clouds, apparently, which a cloud isn't something you can walk on, so that's false. But that is their advertisement. Um, breaking news, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, America's beloved biggest seafood restaurant chain and their infamous Cheesy Biscuits <gasps> are Red filing Lobster. Chapter 11 Red Lo- as oh. of this week. And it's it's a real. I mean, I didn't go to Red Lobster much as you, but the biscuits were were good. I biscuits were good. I think I went there twice. I think for some reason I liked that feeling of picking out the one you want to eat your meal or kill. And it was like, which one's giving me the because they had those beady eyes, you know? And it's like, which one's looking at me? <laughs> and then I look at it, and that one would look away, you know. And then you know they have like the zip ties in their claws, and it'd be like. They go oh, back. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Which? Why did they zip tie the claws? I think, they, like, I think it was like um, it wasn't zip ties. It was like a very very thick it was a rubber band. Rubber band. It was yeah. a really thick rubber band. Yeah, but I liked the one that like stared me down, and it's like, yeah, you want to go there? I thought they. I'll didn't. have that they, one. I don't think they let you pick though. That's the whole point of the tank. I thought they just had them there, and they would pull them out of there. Dude, the weird thing no, is... No, you get to pick your lobster. Oh, you really? Oh, I'm nice. I mean, I never got to, but I would love to. We got to go before we can. I don't even think we have one around here, do we? I don't know, but imagine just, like, picking your prey. Imagine, like, you go to Chick-fil-A, and it's like, I want that chicken. Well, then it would no longer be fast food. Right after it laid an egg, though? That's when it's the best, I've heard. Yeah. Wait, so is, is, is a chicken laying an egg, is it kind of, like, giving birth? Is it painful for it? What does it or is it kind of, like, shitting? You know what's weird? It makes what that big ass... Okay. I know, and it... To the size of the chicken and the egg, it's like you form this every day. Yeah, and it's like a hard exterior. And it comes out of their pussy, which is weird. (laughs) Their chick pussy? Okay, actually, one thing I've never understood about chickens. So my parents had chickens. Well, you know a lot about it. You try to commit genocide. Yeah, I I tried. I tried. Serial killer tendencies. Here's the thing. I remember, like, you couldn't have the rooster laying. Okay, I could be totally wrong. I never, I never understood this, dude. The part I don't understand is like, it's like <laughs> when they keep it warm. It's like, do they ever just go and just smash it? Like, oh my god! But I've told oh, you that if you oh smash, <laughs> <laughs> if you smash an egg in front of them, they all go no, to they, eat yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. Yeah, normal birds do that too. It's cannibalistic, just fucking. But here, 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 here's what you think about though. It, I said, hear you, hear you. you know, <laughs> here, here's the thing you think about though. But in the wild, it's it's. Anything that that's just nutrients going to waste. It's fucked up as it is. It's like it's Here's dead. The thing. The, the thing that bird knows it's dead. And then the other bird's like, I'm still fucking eating this. It's nutrients. But here's the thing. As like a chicken, couldn't you just feed yourself? Yeah, but like it's it's the motherly instinct to raise young. But if this but one's fucking it if it's cracked. cracked and it's dead, then fucking. But no, what's crazy is they all day. fight over it and they go nuts. Yeah. And you're not supposed to feed chickens chicken, right? Isn't that like forced cannibalism? It's a crime, technically, right? I mean, I think it is. Like, it's a crime. Is a detective gonna come out and be like, "I sense chicken in this stool"? Like, no, but I know it's a thing. No. Um, what was I gonna say about chickens? No, they. Uh... Oh, what I always thought. I remember, like, my parents would be like, "You can't, don't let the the rooster lay on the eggs." Yes, it is illegal to oh. feed meat and meat byproducts to poultry in the United States to prevent the spread of diseases. The law also prevents. Contamination of products, for example. So it's not for cannibalism. It's for... But it says a something. big paragraph. Oh. I'm not reading it. Well, no. What I was saying, dude, was like... I swear I was always told, don't let the rooster lay on the eggs because he fertilizes the eggs. Okay? Wait, how does he fertilize it without breaking it? That's what I was curious about. I remember so as a kid he, thinking, just, like, does he have, like, this little you needle You know what dick? it is? You know what it is? Like, for example... I could, I'm just, this is a complete shot in the dark. You're going to come on the eggs and see what happens? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> You're an idiot. You know that? No, you know, I was kidding. You know, I, was kidding. Um, I was going to say, so maybe he has the eggs in his, is it, he sits on them like the same, th- same way, like with his ass, he just kind of just goes and sits on them. Yeah, so, I thought, so, I thought. But I'm saying maybe he incubates said eggs a little at a different temperature. For example, I think in humans at, a, a woman is made at different temperatures than, you know, you're more likely to have a girl, I think, in a certain temperature setting 
versus a boy. Yes, but so he, I think maybe it's something to do with to that. Put his sperm so the, the incubate the incubees, mind you. But maybe, how does the sperm get in there? I think it's already in there, and maybe that releases it. But how does it get in there? They have to fuck before the eggs lo- laid. Then, well, fish fish can have eggs that hatch and whatever. For so a he life. just comes on the eggs. But they have a hard exterior shell. Maybe it's like our skin where the shell's absorbent. Oh. Maybe that's it. I don't think that's it. But I think I, I think it has it's something to, weird. It's already in there, and I think maybe it just has to get to a certain But how did it get in there? Okay, let's look this up. How did the chicken's egg get fertilized? Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Because I'm saying after the egg is laying, it doesn't make do any you think sense. What do you think? Wait, so do chickens actually fuck then? Yes, I think he has to do, do you think it. He, do you think he holds the hind feathers? <laughs> <laughs> like it's a fuck. Like he holds it like a fish up in the air, just maybe. But what what I think is like, there's no way that the egg is, you know, it's already a heart. So maybe while while the shell is being formed, I what what I can't figure out is how they make a shell every day. Like what the fuck does that come? Chickens from? fertilize eggs through a process called cloacal contact, which occurs when a rooster lowers his cloaca and cloaca. The hen inverts her cloaca until they touch. This is called a cloacal kiss. And there's no, pe- <laughs> there's no penetration involved. Oh, so they're Mormons. It's soaking. It's soaking. Oh. Since roosters don't have penises, the hen opens her cloaca, so her pussy. <laughs> so the hen opens her pussy <laughs> so that the rooster's sperm can be passed from his papilla, a.k.a. dick, into her oviduct. Her pussy so it goes canal. in her. So it goes in her. And then that so they when basically kind of like egg. dry hump almost. Yeah, they just soak. yeah. It's it's edging. Why also. do they make it so weird they're like words. edging? Yeah, why do they make it weird words? Well, it's, it's called something else when it's in an animal. I when suppose. it's in a chicken, just say what it is. Yeah, they don't lay fertile eggs until ten to fourteen days after having had sex. This is because it takes about that long for the rooster sperm to travel up the hen's oviduct into the ovary, where egg cells are waiting to be fertilized. Only about 60% of successful mating results in fertilization. Do you think you can give birth control to, like, a chicken, and then it just, you always get good eggs? Even if the rooster's in there? Well, I don't think its body would respond the same. Do they, do they sell chicken birth control? <laughs> That's a better question. But the exotic <laughs> fish shops do. Probably do. You want How do exotic fish shops stay in business? That's another question. Um... While you're looking that up, I did have some. I did have something else. Uh, so you know how there's people into like WWE and shit, which I've never understood. <laughs> oh wait, what do you got? <laughs> this guy's blog name for this page is Ren the House Hen. Oh god. Um, my pet chicken. I have a chicken fetish. This his chicken has a birth control implant, like a fucking IUD. <laughs> They have chicken IUDs. The cutest eggs I've ever seen came from the the bantam Ew, Seabright, this guy needs the to be bantam Seabright chicken wren. She's a miniature chicken, which means her eggs are miniature too. At seven months old, <laughs> I had injected her with a birth control implant to stop her from producing eggs. Fucking monster. This guy's weird. Who the but, fuck? How do you even get a prescription for that? Hey, my chicken needs birth control because she doesn't think about it. She doesn't want kids now. Like what? Is she waiting to get married? Is the chicken waiting for the right time? I don't know. Stupid. Anyways. So uh, basically, whoa, 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 let's rewind a little bit to the part where it said it reveals her cloaca. <laughs> so AKA her pussy. So let me get this straight because there's feathers. Do you think it like folds open and then do you, like you see what I'm saying? It? <laughs> <laughs> he eats chicken feet out of her pussy? No, I'm saying, but like that would mean it says exposed. So that means it kind of opens up. Well, you know how the chicken, you know, like the feathers kind of move, and they just like move. Away. Do you think all the feathers just kind of dissipate? Yeah, and it's a just like bit? there. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It makes me feel weird to think about. It'd be weird if we had feathers. Like, do you think we'd have to like shave them? Be like, oh, I have to pluck my feathers this weekend before I see this girl. I don't think you shave feathers. Pluck them. I think they fall out naturally. And yeah. then they grow other ones. It's weird how they have such hard stems. Yeah. Like, how do you make something that hard? Well, I think it's like cartilage. I think it's like calcium, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't. But it's hard like cartilage. <laughs> anyway, so something I want to talk about. Like um, fingernails. Yeah, that shit's crazy. 
Shit grows like a motherfucker. And I'm just like, I'm growing a solid substance from my phalanges. Yeah, it's weird. Infinitely. Yeah, it just never stops. <laughs> I'm like, you're like my body's. Dude, imagine if we ever have control over our own bodies. It would be so bad because we would just release dopamine. You know what's, fun, you know what's funny? Um, apparently, I could be butchering this, but you know those white marks on your fingernails? That's low calcium. Yeah, yeah. That's what I've heard. I don't have them, which is nice. I don't know how. Yeah, I don't know how either. <clears throat> yeah, because I'm just malnourished. No, but like what calcium do you have? You don't drink milk, really? No, I'm lactose. I don't, I've never, I don't drink milk ever. That, yeah, I'm saying what calcium do you eat? So how, how do you know? I don't think like, milk is the only source of calcium. What else is the source of calcium? Meat. Meat is? I think so. You're staring at me know. like you're bluffing, but I can't tell. I don't know. Like, I know something else. You're is. Like, I, you're, 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 I don't know the white marks. You're like, meat drink. Maybe. Maybe. I'm like, I, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Um. Oh, I did. Well, keep going. Sorry. No, I... Uh, so I went to this, uh, um, it was, what are those Mexican wrestlers called? Like from that movie Jack Black was in. On Nacho Libre? Yeah. What are they called? I don't know. WWE fighters? No, but it's it's a different term. But anyways, this guy named, by the way, shout out Thicky Ricky Rodriguez. <laughs> Thanks for following me back. Thicky Ricky. Dude, put on a hell of a show. But no, so apparently there's people who are into WWE. I've never gotten it, but it's actually, after doing some research, it's like an act. It's research? Like, it's like some theater, because I was interested. I was like, what the fuck? It's you obviously didn't know that stage. already? I just was like, the people, what I thought it always was, was that the people knew it was staged, but they were just like going along with it. But no, it's like a whole fucking story. They're yeah. story lines. Yeah, yeah. They have like villains and shit and like rivalries. Yeah, and well, like, like, w- like two guys, what Jose was telling me about was like they... Were like one was the dad and one was the stepdad, but the stepdad sounds like a porno. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean it gets there. No, I mean it doesn't get there. Oh, but, I was like, oh, what WWE? But no, like the and... stepdad and him were like fighting over custody of the child and shit in WWE. So I looked up on Reddit and I was like, what are the craziest WWE um, stories so during lines? the workday? You're just reading about WWE. No, I just did it when we were sitting oh. on the couch. <laughs> um, this one person gave birth to a hand during her storyline with Mark Henry. And then, um, yeah, there was like a farting gimmick. Kali's girlfriend, while Hornswoggle was their son. There's They punt babies and have foot fetishes. Like, this shit's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. When I, mean, I, when I was little, I thought it was like, you remember when the first I've Spider-Man? Been into remember it. when the first Spider-Man came out? It was actually like <laughs> someone just posted beaver cleavage. I don't know what the fuck. Beaver cleavage. Beaver. Does that mean if okay beaver? Okay, if so if lips. if if the lips are coming out of like so let's say like when you wear like a, a, a rose one a one piece. <laughs> if you're wearing a one piece, I don't, oh, why, and the okay, I don't know why I'm out. sitting like this. The camera. <laughs> if you're if if, if, it's, that. if it's going like through you know up the butt crack and and have it, you ever seen the that? folds are coming? I have. You've seen absolutely the pussy lips. I've seen a li- a lip, yeah, outside the yeah. bathing suit. Yeah, who? Like a random person at the lake. I've definitely seen that a couple times in my life. Wow. Yeah. Talk about that- little to no self awareness. Well, I mean, you don't look down and be like, "Oh, is my pussy in my?" Well, if you have just a piece of fabric like this protecting oh, it, it like I would G-screen. be. I would be looking. Yeah. yeah. Don't Obviously, they were hungry. They're <laughs> gobbling that thing up. <laughs> Fuck. This had a fucking hankering it, it, for it, it cloth. Looked, that it day. reminded me of for those cotton. fucking in Mario and the green tubes, the things oh, that come out. Nang, 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 but without nang, nang, the teeth, that's what, that's yeah. what it reminded me Well, of. there was that movie called Teeth, teeth right? Yeah, yeah. The did you ever see it. that? I think you and I watched it together. No, we didn't. We definitely did your mem- kids. Your memory absolutely served No, we watched it as kids. I can see it in your room at your house. Nope. Yes, we did. We were pretty fucked up. Never watched it. You and I have seen that. I, didn't I just like watch how it on you weren't own. sure, and then 20 seconds after I said no, because you then it were came sure. to me. I remember where I was sitting. It was in your oh old my room. God. No, I didn't. We watched no, Teeth. No, I didn't. You didn't like Teeth? I don't. I know I didn't ever watch Teeth because I remember it was actually kind of sad because the girl like grew the teeth because she got like raped. Raped. Yeah. So that sucked. But then the problem was she got like. No, correct me if I'm wrong. Whoever's listening, but <laughs> no one's gonna correct me. But it's uh, 
like, then she just liked biting the dicks off. It was like her, like, this one guy was bad. So now I'm going to cut the dicks off all guys. So she like- He's still fucked though. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) But she would like seduce them. And then then he'd be like- Hey, that's still still a body though. And then he'd be- They closed. It's the last close. I know, but they closed. Yeah, they closed for good. Hey, that's one way to go Fucking out. Fucking put the plywood hey, up. Hey, if Fucking you're going to lose it, at least you went, you went fighting. Uh, I, I don't know, man. But here's, here's, here's an interesting question. So, like, Do vaginas have if teeth? Your di- no, if your dick, like, was to be removed, right? So mm-hmm. what would the difference be if you were hard versus soft? I think it'd be a problem. Well, I know if you're hard because it, it's because all then blood. the blood's going. But there. I meant like in terms of this in this in this procedure if specifically, just like a bowl. it's just a very clean. It's a clean cut. It's a clean cut, and it's going to be instantly cauterized or whatever the fuck. I'm just saying it's just for a scientific person to see what would happen. Well, then I'm guessing the blood just like goes there and comes back, or maybe it just gets like a water balloon and just kind of like blows up. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. Actually, n- uh, nothing against sex changes. I've always been confused. How the fuck do they make a pussy out as, of it? Uh, you've seen the animations. Yeah, yeah. Well, on Twitter, they like cut the dick yeah, in half. And then- it's also the way they're viewing it because they're trying to show you how it works. It's kind of like when they give illustrations of like shit in space and shit. Like, it's like, it's not. Ex- <laughs> this it pussy's is. related to Mars. No, it's the concept of how they show diagrams. Yeah. It's like, I don't want you to see this for what it is. I'm showing you from this view so you see how it works. Yeah. So it doesn't exactly, that's not maybe exactly how you would But the thing it. is, apparently. In the animation, I, so they, they make artificial folds. So that's for pleasure then? To fuck? Because I think they put the pleasurable part of the penis as like the clit. Like, dude, they like recreate it. It's crazy. But okay, the pleasure part of the penis. Are you telling what? What part of your penis? Do you finger your tip of your penis? And no. you're like, oh, fuck. But like kind of like blow the tip. It's a little more sensitive. Yeah, but like, so what? They push that like a spring in the back, to the back? I don't know. Yeah, like. But what's that, crazy Who is that, figured that out? I don't know. Hey, if you fold a pussy t- eight times and a dick fold a dick eight times and put it in their gooch, it feels good. But what's crazy is that like there are stories where like people didn't know. So it's obviously passable. How? There's, st- I, I mean, I, I, they, there's good doctors out there. Listen, just- listen, 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 listen. A pro, a professional, <laughs> a, in professional. A, a professional in anything is willing. To, it's, it's like a, it's like a shoe head when he sees a fake pair of Jordans. He's yeah. like, it looks close, but it ain't it. Yeah, it ain't it. I mean, maybe like after a ton of drinks at the club or something. Maybe, yeah. or in a very dark room. So Where be don't see it. So, so it feels the same. So be aware. Be aware. If you're taken to a stranger to a for, to a dark and so, I hey, think any time be lights aware. Off. I, <laughs> even if there's, there's a stranger with the lights off in an alley, dude. Like, is it, it, dude? I was I was thinking about this the other day. So is it true? And it obviously okay. I understand for girls it's different because guys obviously could overpower overpower you very easily, and guys it's like a lot more. But when I, I would say. How am I going to put this? <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm saying, if there's a stranger in your home, are you not on a little more high alert? Like, you're not you're not sleeping right away. You're, you're waiting for there's other people. There's a stranger. What do you mean? Like, let's say you met a young woman somewhere and she mm-hmm. came back to your house. I'm saying, is it was is it just me? Or, like, are you on high alert when there's... Yeah. As I mean, in, I, as in terms of, like, I'm I'm sitting, staring at the wall, kind of like, I'm, I'm like a gargoyle. At night, kind of yeah. just waiting. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm alert. I'm here. I'm present. Yeah, like I put my wallet between the mattress and the bottom. Like, that's my biggest fear. Like, I fall asleep and then she takes my wallet or something. Like, yeah, but you, you just never know. You know, I don't sleep well. No, yeah, that's I'm like, what I mean. You don't sleep well because what's gonna happen? It's is like I'm gonna a, be like, oh. it's like a, it's like a half sleep. It's like a. It's like you know you 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 know what's going yeah, on, but, but you're, you're like you're, yeah you're more of just like taking a temporary rest. You're not and, actually asleep. And then the ceiling fan makes a little tick, and you're like, yeah, <laughs> you're looking around. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's strange. Yeah, it's really weird. The thing is, I, I think that's like our survival instinct a little bit. I think we and po- it goes same goes for anyone. Like obviously, if there's like a group of friends that are like, oh, we're all going this trip. I'm bringing some of my buddies. That's different. But I'm saying like, if you just happen to be sleeping in close proximity to people you don't know. I, t- I tend to just be... Or like you brought like a girl home. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying I would tend to be very... 
Just like I don't sleep well. No, 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 no. But no. the thing is, the women think that you do. They think that you're just like out. The women think that you do. <laughs> but 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 we're not. It's like I'm very aware no, of what's going on. No. If if you get up and go to the bathroom, I'm awake. It's like when a cat's hair stands up. <laughs> if you get me, if you get me in a corner, I get feisty. Yeah, yeah. And and I'm listening. I'm like toilet flushed. Yes. Yeah. Did, did a drawer open? Yeah. Air, Are you stealing steps, my floss? The, st- the, st- <laughs> the steps. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like, okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's the amount to get to the sink. And it's like, because I don't know. You. Dude, did you know in Japan, like... They take less steps to the sink? Well, I would say they take more because they're tiny people. They take tiny steps. No, but they actually bind their feet. I was going to say, the, there's in like temples and like a lot of... Synagogues. Well, temples and... Well, <laughs> <laughs> why are you so happy about that? I'm it saying a, a lot word. of... It was a big word. Especially in like older times in castles... They would have these, all the floorboards, all of them, were like very loose and they would creak super loud. So then people couldn't sneak up on people and fucking kill them. Interesting. Yeah. And so this person's walking down like a 16th well, century. That's why they just had like a bird in there. A bird. Because then the bird, like birds don't really sleep. They just yeah, sit there and squawk. Yeah, they but sleep. like the floorboards 24 7 would squeak every single time someone walks. And but, they're, uh, and they're uh, super loud. It, but what if you're a deep sleeper, but a bird going squawk, squawk, squawk? Is like, the floorboard going to fall asleep? No. No, why, but I'm why, saying why, this why may not be as loud. How it's do, loud as fuck. How do you I purposely make a creaky floorboard? Don't you have to, tr- like, that'd be crazy. You just make them rub against something else that squeaks. Mm, Problem just solved. put a little chew toy underneath it. <laughs> 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 just a whoopee cushion. <laughs> you gotta blow it up every night. Dude, you used to, we used to be little fucking whoopee cushion guys. Oh, what kid was And like it? the shock gum. I remember I gave Norm, I remember I gave Norm Noble Dude, the shock gum brought that gum to church thing. all the time. All the time. And I thought it was so, it was funny. But um, the problem with the whoopee cushion, what they needed to do is not make it so small. It needs to be it, bigger and flatter. The thing was, I think they needed to have a little more <laughs> instead of the <laughs> Instead of the queef, it needed to be a fart. Yeah. It sounded like a queef. Exactly. The problem was, is half the whoopee cushions were this big, but it went up, not and out. And it sounded like you stepped on a little frog. That's what yeah, it like. but it, since it went up and not out, you put it underneath the cushion on the kitchen chair, and it's like, you can see it. But if it was wide, well, with the same amount of air. A lot of them are wide. The bigger But I'm ones saying, like, this wide. It could go right underneath the chair cushion. Have you ever notice. had one of the bigger ones? They are very wide. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, did you ever do that shit where you'd like undo ketchup packets? You know, like at the bottom of toilet seats or those little. And they would squirt. No, I never did that. Squirt all over their I legs. I did the uh, snapdragons on the toilet seat. That's a good idea. Yeah. Really works for bigger people. You got to have that the initial force. thunk. <laughs> the force. The, the, you can't sit down slowly. No. Do you sit down? I can't really think how I do it. It depends what it is. Do, if, do you sit down hard? No, I, I, I'm, I definitely. It's, I just it's, like slowly. I de- it's like a helicopter landing. It, it's it's gradual. But if it's at like that long drive, do you sit down? Like, do you sit? Do you sit down to pee at all? It's very relaxing. Typically, yeah, no. But like yes, I do. Like Tracy, and typically, I typically no. <laughs> no, to tip. I mean, on average, no. But like sometimes, I'm just like I just want to play Clash of Clans. So yeah, yeah. But I'm saying it's actually it's. It's very peaceful. Oh, in my own bathroom? Hell yeah. Yeah, I sit down yeah, yeah. All the time. Especially late Always at night. Always with the lights on. Especially late at night. Like if I'm getting out of bed, I, I sit down to pee because I don't want to turn the lights on. And I don't want to yeah. miss either. So Yeah, lights off. I want to make sure it's a guaranteed down. hit. Dude, have you ever done that where you're like, I'm not going to turn the lights on? And then you're like, I think I'm there. And then you start peeing. And it's like, and then you hear the wall. Yeah, and yeah. Like, I've, d- I've done that before. Yeah. You're like, I'll clean it in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I've do done that, that before. Have you ever like peed? And like it, this is a completely normal scenario in the middle of the day, and then two streams completely yeah that opposite side of the fucking bowl. That's always after you come. Mm-hmm. No, it isn't. I yes. came and peed normal after fine. I know, but the only time ever two streams has happened is if like you come and you don't pee afterwards, and the little bit of cum dries on the tip of your dick, and it goes. Why else do you think that happens? It's because something's in the. Tip I of thought your if dip. you like slept on your dick weird, it's folded and crunched. No. That then when it's if you pee too soon and it hasn't regained its shape, kind of like when you step on memory foam, it hasn't gained its shape all the way. No, it's then it that. ruins the pathway of of the. Think liquid. about it next time. The next time you jack off, have sex, whatever. It's because you haven't peed since then, and there might be a little bit that dried in there, and that's why oh, it goes. Interesting. Pfft. Yeah, I'll have to track. Yeah. I'll have to track my pee pattern. You and I should go. J- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then we have to let it sit. Yeah. So it turns into like Elmer's glue. Yeah, well, because you know, easily removed, easily removed, but yes. also obstructs pathways. That's why it goes, then it goes, 
Yeah, it's hard to track. Dude, I hate when there's always like the last drop ends on your pants. Dude, that. have you ever, okay, there was times, I, there's been times I sat in and you front sit of it. there and keep yeah. wiggling it, and, 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 and you're like, "Come on!" You no, know, and I did it forever. I'm like, "This is not gonna." And still, a drop yeah. always comes out. After Have you ever like put in your pants nuts. and then like a drop comes? You're like, "Nope!" And then you go back and then you're like, "Okay, come on!" And then you like act like I always imagine. I'm like, "I'm putting it in my pants now." Like, is it done? And then like you're putting it in my pants. Boop, last drop. Yeah, it's insane. Like, oh god, the male body. I know. It's ridiculous. Well, we're at 35. Okay. Thank you for watching. Uh, check out patreon.com slash ATLT for exclusive content episodes early-ish. Z, oh, where I have a they... disgusting question before we go. <laughs> yeah. It's not pretty, and you're not going to like it. I'm going to love it. Does. So, like, you know what? Maybe we'll just save it for next episode because it's really bad. Let's do it. Or actually, it's at the end of the episode. Yeah, so. maybe we'll set them down <laughs> easy. Make sure you write it down. Oh, I'll write it down. I won't forget this. Okay, at the next episode... We are going to bring up this okay, question. Okay, okay. Next episode. <laughs> it's, I feel like because Remind I don't want to ask it. me Tuesday because we need, we at need, 6 p.m. We need to unpack this. For the question on the podcast. We need to unpack it. I have a reminder. Yeah. The question. So stay tuned for the question. Patreon.com slash ATLTZ. Where can they find you? Um, they can find me at Zay underscore Leslie on Instagram or James. Where can they find you? Jack underscore Spencer. Both of our Instagrams at the Around the Lunch Table page. Make sure you check it out. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Patreon to and support. And it's happy anniversary to James. It's almost been three years since he said he fucked his couch. So congratulations to him on I that. I think of that couch every day. Um, I didn't fuck my couch. <laughs> <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> dude, look at his face, dude. He's hiding something heinous. I am, but it ain't fucking my couch. <laughs> okay. We'll see you guys next week. And, and see you. Let's get rowdy up in here.